Hello friends, myself Sarma Suraj. I am studying in Government Engineering College, Modasa. Today I want to introduce you to one software called FEMM. The full form of this software is Finite Element Method Magnetics. This software is used for solving the low frequency magnetics problem on 2D planner as well as on asymmetric domain. So now when you open up the software you find this screen on the left side there's a file menu go in there and take new so now one dialog box would appear on the screen this dialog box is asking you which kind of problem that you want to solve so there are mainly four kinds of problem which can be solved by this software so I would take the magnetics problem first now as you see on the screen the controls now have been changed the on the top side there are four to five controls they are called as the drawing control uh, right beside that you find these three controls they are called solving controls on the left bottom side there are three grid controls now for drawing any problem you need to select this dotted control then you can give a point anywhere on the screen but either way you can do it by pressing tab key this will show you x coordinate and y coordinate values this is, is appearing by default but uh, you can give it give any value like i place 0 0 0 in both so my initial point is now set up to view the initial point you can zoom in if it doesn't appear on the screen so now it starts appearing now as per the statement of my problem I need to specify the x and y coordinates they are as shown on the screen so now step by step I put the values for x and y coordinates and eventually I would get to the I would get some bunch of points like I shown on the screen now the, my this problem is of transformer so I just need to connect these points to make my problem or uh, to make the diagram of my problem to connect these points I need to click on this line button then after just left clicking on this one dot and the dot where I want to connect the connect these two dots or the or to make line in between so this would make line in the same way I can proceed for next points now the next thing that I need to do is to specify whether my problem data are in uh, meters inches millimeters centimeters that should be specified to specify that I must go in problem menu in that is showing the problem type is planner it's not asymmetric problem so this problem is a planner kind of problem and the length units or the dimensions are in inches so I can change it up with meters or anything I anything any unit in which your data are present now press ok then after you need to specify the materials you need to give the material materials names and properties but before that click on this colored button then at every material part you need to show it by this dot just left keep on left clicking 
so now I can specify each and every material of my problem but before that I need to specify the boundary the specification of boundary is so necessary because I need to limit my problem that for how much distance how far my flux lines or any problem value is going so I need to give limit to it for that I can specify the boundary I can give value to it a equals to 0 because my prescribed value is 0 I giving it the value 0 because at boundary side there is no charge transformers outside by or co by of the transformer is held at potential 0 so I can give it to a equals to 0 then press ok now I need to specify the material properties go in properties materials then add property now first off I can add air as air has relative permeability at x axis and at y axis would be 1 1 then press ok now for core for core I can take relative permeability 5000 at x 5000 for y now press ok now I can give the specifications for HV side for HV side relative permeability at x axis would be 1 at y would also be 1 and at HV side that would be this source current density would be something like I assume minus 1.5214 Eight nine. Then press OK. Now for LV side, again add property. For LV side, one point. Suppose five four one seven eight nine. Okay. Then press OK. Now press OK. Now to make those properties appear on your screen. I need to right click on this dot then give space so I need to define it as LV then again you need to do same for this is air and mass size you can give 0.15 here or 0.15 same here that is core for mass size of this now we need to assign the boundary to this now click on this line right click on the boundary line then press space now I can assign boundary just by giving space and then selecting equals to zero for every closed domain I need to assign boundary to it now I would save my file somewhere in my PC I have saved it now I can solve it first I would find out how many nodes are there just by clicking on this yellow button this is showing me created mass with 2701 nodes now 
I would solve my problem just by clicking on this hand crayon button. This would solve my problem in just microseconds. Now I can click on this class button. So this way my problem has been solved. This is showing me the number of nodes and number of elements which have been used in this problem. And now for seeing the force and other quantities, I just click on this color button. Now click on the core or any part of your problem where you want to see the data. Now just can click on the integration button. You can give go on force. This showing me force at x component is minus 896.23 newton, y component minus 5.67818 newton. So friend, this way we can solve any problem by using this helpful software FEMM. Thank you for watching my video and I hope you all enjoyed and understood the concept of doing any problem, any electrical or magnetics problem through this software. And please forgive me if I have done any kind of mistake throughout this video. And I'm so help thankful to my professor Ketan Bargujar sir for teaching me this uh, vital software and uh, the uses of it and the way we can solve the problem and thank you very much friends.